Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. As you can see, I'm preparing everything for celebrating Christmas in my second living room. Of course not. I'm celebrating it with family and friends and that will be also one of the reasons why the production of new videos will take some more time again. But I want to take the chance of saying thank you to you all who have spent your time with watching my videos this year. Your comments gave me the motivation to keep up working on this big project. Because the year is coming to an end, I want to give you an overview of my highlights of 2018 and what will come up in the next year. By building the dummy overhead and the ceiling frame, I increased the feeling that I'm sitting in a closed cockpit and gave me a sense of the dimension this thing will have when it's finished. The channel reached the mark of 1000 subscribers and we celebrated this with my first live stream. And believe me, this was a strange feeling sitting in front of my computer and talking for over an hour not knowing how many people will watch this and if they will be interested in what I had to say. But there were enough questions and the time runs up very quickly. Finally I closed the ceiling and added the eyebrow windows and guys these windows. You can't imagine how long I thought about how to make these things. It took me three attempts to find the right strategy. But that shows that you will be successful when you don't give up and keep up working on your dream. Then I realized the time will come that I have to deal with making panels. And so five years after I bought the plans for a CNC router I finally built it. Those of you who have watched my first live stream might remember that I started my whole woodworking career with the goal of building such a CNC. And this gave me also a good opportunity to make new videos. It was a project where I had not to think too much about how to make it. There was a plan I could follow and so I could bring out a new video every two weeks. That was fantastic. And today I will give you a sneak preview of my first panel test. I've made some test engravings of different letters and line sizes and the backlighting comes out very well. Now I have to deal with getting more material and then I will present you a tutorial of engraving your own EVIS panel. Then my birthday came and a friend of mine sent me a cool compilation of my videos which I want to share with you. Hey guys, let me tell you about this one guy, his name is Michael. He's building a plane, yeah, not really a plane but a simulator, you get the idea. Um, this is a compilation about his videos. Uh, Mikey's flight deck. Hey, let's have some fun. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Mikey's flight deck. Here it is, finally installed and pretty sturdy. Compare your cut with a line. I've made a paper template. The lower edge of the overhead is horizontal 10 cm away from the upper edge of the glare shield. Is horizontal, is horizontal, lay down flat on the wood here. I've made a paper template. So what have we built here? We'll see us soon back. I hope we'll see us soon back. I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck. So what have we built here? November was also my first time on the FS weekend and I want to show you some impressions of that day. The day started very early in the morning and I traveled here to the Netherlands to the FS weekend in Lelystad. I'm very excited what I will discover here and I also hope to put my hands on a real Boeing panel, for example. So come with me and let's see what we can discover.
It was a fantastic day and it was so cool to meet some of you in real life. So I will definitely come back next year. And this will be one of the topics on my list for 2019, but there will be many more. First of all, I want to invite you all to the two years of Mikey's Flytech livestream, which will take place on January the 19th at 6 o'clock UTC. Again, if you have any questions for me to prepare, then post them as a comment below this video. When I engraved the APHIS and MCP panel, I will finish the front area of the cockpit, which will include an update of the glass shield. I will cover the front window frames with some cover and cover the glass shield with some fabric and maybe build in my first LED lighting. When the panel work continues, I will also come to my first electronic components in the cockpit and show you how you can connect your hardware via an Arduino to the simulator. And I don't want to forget to say thank you to the members of the companies that supported my channel throughout this year and there are Andreas Weitschop from FS Flight Control and Christian Knell from Estelcam. So stay tuned for many interesting videos to come. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Have a good arrival at 2019 to see us soon back on the flight deck.